Good morning and welcome to Sunday morning prayer from a beautiful sunny morning here in Cumbria. And I want to invite you to come and enjoy this special time together where we celebrate all the gifts that God has given to us, gifts we take for granted, a warm bed, food to eat, running water, fresh water, and all the abundance that God showers upon us, knowing full well that there are other children of God who are living with famine, drought, and a loss of food, even clothes to wear. So we light this light this morning for the children of Abraham's God, who created all life in the name of Jesus, the cosmic Christ, who loves life, in the name of the Spirit, who is the fire of life, and in, name, in the name of Mother Earth, whom St. Francis mentions many times, with Mother Mary, our Heavenly Mother, who nurtured the divine in all lives. And in the name of all faith traditions and none, I welcome you to this table of love. So we begin with our Sunday morning prologue. We enter the eternal and infinite garden with reverence to the heavenly Father, Mother, God, the earthly mother and all the great masters, and reverence to the holy, pure and saving teaching excuse me, and reverence to the brotherhood and sisterhood of the earth. Sunday morning we commune with the angel of earth, saying, angel of earth, en enter my generative organs and regenerate my whole body. As you say this, you contemplate the life-generating soil and the growing grass, feeling the currents of the angel of earth transforming his sexual energies into regenerative forces. And whilst we're on the subject of the angel of earth, often when we're stressed or despondent, anxious or fearful, it's always good to sit in the garden with your bare feet placed firmly on the grass, on the earth, not on concrete and not on wood. And you feel the currents of mother earth coming up through your feet balancing and cleansing all of your chakras, those energy wheels in your body, but certainly leaving you light-headed, relaxed, and able to face whatever life throws at you. So try it. And now for the divine office of lords. O oh God, come to my aid. O oh Lord, make haste and help me. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end, amen. We are the people of the Lord, the flock that is led by his hand. And our hymn this morning, I bind unto myself today the great name of the Trinity, by invocation of the same, the three in one and one in three. I bind unto myself today the power of God to heal, to hold and lead, his eye to watch, his mind to stay, his ear to hearken to my need, the wisdom of my God to teach, his hand to guide, his shield to ward, the word of God to give me speech, his heavenly host to be my God. I bind unto myself today the name, the strong name of the Trinity, by invocation of the same, the three in one, and one in three, of whom all nature hath creation, eternal Father, Mother, Spirit, Word, praise to the Lord of my salvation, salvation is of Christ the Lord. Our first antiphon this morning, give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. And our first reading is Psalm 117. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love endures forever. Let the sons of Israel say his love endures forever. Let the sons of Aaron say his love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say his love endures forever. 
I called to the Lord in my distress. He answered and he freed me. The Lord is at my side, I do not fear. What can man do against me? The Lord is at my side as my helper. I shall look down on my foes. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in men. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. The nations all encompassed me. In the Lord's name, I crushed them. They compassed me, compassed me about like bees. In the Lord's name, I crushed them. They compassed me about like bees. They blazed like a fire among thorns. In the Lord's name, I crushed them. I was hard pressed and was falling, but the Lord came to help me. The Lord is my strength and my song. He is my savior. There are shouts of joy and victory in the tents of the just. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. I shall not die, I shall live and recount his deeds. I was punished. I was punished by the Lord, but not doomed to die. Open to me the gates of holiness. I will enter and give thanks. This is the Lord's own gate where the just may enter. I will thank you for you have answered and you are my savior. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and we are glad. O Lord, grant us salvation. O Lord, grant success. Excuse me. Blessed in the name of the Lord is he who comes. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord God is our light. Go forward in procession with branches, even to the altar. You are my God, I thank you. My God, I praise you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love endures forever. We now pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. And the second antiphon, Alleluia, all the works of the Lord, bless the Lord, Alleluia. And now we have a canticle reading from the prophet Daniel. You are blessed, Lord God of our fathers, to you glory and praise forevermore. Bless your glorious holy name, to you glory and praise forevermore. You are blessed in the temple of your glory, to you glory and praise forevermore. You are blessed to gaze into the depths, to you glory and praise forevermore. You are blessed in the firmament of heaven, to you glory and praise forevermore. You who walk in the wings of the wind, to you glory and praise forevermore. May they bless you, the saints and the angels, to you glory and praise forevermore. From the heavens, the earth and the sea, to you glory and praise forevermore. You are blessed, Lord God of our fathers, to you glory and praise forevermore. We now pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end, amen. Alleluia, all works of the Lord, bless the Lord, alleluia. And the third antiphon, the, let everything that breathes give praise to the Lord. And now we read Psalm 150. Praise God in his holy place. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his powerful deeds. Praise his surpassing greatness. Oh, praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with lute and harp. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and pipes. Oh, praise him with resounding cymbals. Praise him with the clashing of cymbals. Let everything that lives and that breathes give praise to the Lord. 
Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let everything that breathes give praise to the Lord. Alleluia. We have a short scripture reading from St. Paul to 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verses 8 and 11 to 13. Remember the good news that I carry. Jesus Christ is risen from the dead, sprung from the race of David. Here is a saying that you can rely on. If we have died with him, then we shall live with him. If we hold firm, then we will reign with him. If we disown him, he will disown us. We may be unfaithful, but he is always faithful, for he cannot disown his own self. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the short response read, We give thanks to you, O God, and call upon your name. We give thanks to you, O God, and call upon your name. We recount your wonderful deeds. We give thanks to you, O Lord, and call upon your name. Glory be to the Father, Mother, God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God. We give thanks to you, O God, and call upon your name. And now for the Benedictus Antiphon for this 20th Sunday of Ordinary Time. I am the living bread which has come down from heaven. If any man or woman eats of this bread, they will live forever. Alleluia. And now, my dear friends, I invite you to join me for the beautiful canticle of Zechariah, the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and he has redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior in the house of David, his servant, as he promised through his prophets from of old a saviour who would free us from our sin, from the hands of all our enemies. So his love for our fathers is revealed and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham, our father, to grant us that free from fear and saved from the hands of our enemies, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. And as for you, little child, you shall become a prophet of God, the Most High. You shall go before the Lord to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of their sin and the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high, and he will give light to those who sit in darkness and those who dwell in the shadow of death. He will guide them to the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I am the living bread which has come down from heaven. If any man or woman eats of this bread, they will live forever. Alleluia. And now we come to our morning intercessions. To the only God, our Saviour, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory, majesty, dominion, and authority before all time, now and forever. And the response is, we praise you, O God, we acknowledge you to be the Lord. We repeat, we praise you, O God, and we acknowledge you to be the Lord. We bless you, Lord, creator of the universe. We were sinners in need of your grace, yet now you have called us to live in knowledge and service of you. Excuse me, response, we praise you, O God. We acknowledge you to be the Lord. Your Son has shown us the way as we follow in his steps. May we never wander from the path that leads to life. Response, we praise you, O God. We acknowledge you to be the Lord. 
We celebrate today the resurrection of your Son in suffering and in gladness. May it bring us deep joy. Response, we praise you, O God. We acknowledge you to be the Lord. O Lord, give us the spirit of prayer and praise. Let us always and everywhere give you thanks. Response, we praise you, O God. We acknowledge you to be the Lord. And now, my dear friends, let us just for a moment or two be still in the presence of God. For Jesus said, where two or three are gathered in my name, I am with you. So you and I both know that Christ is present. Well, if anything is troubling us, or someone has injured us, or whatever, name it, bless it, and release it to God in a mindset of gratitude. And you only do this once. You don't have to repeat it over and over, which many do. And just say to God, thank you. Thank you for relieving me of this great burden or worry. And keep saying thank you. So let us be still. This morning when we began our morning prayer, we dedicated it for the children of Abraham who are suffering, who are wounded, and who are tearing each other apart. And we pray for unity and peace within the Abrahamic family of Jew, Muslim, and Christian. Today, we remember all of you who are gathered here. We pray for your needs because they are important to God. We pray for Sister Sue, who's logged in, for her family, especially for James. We pray for her dear friend, Paul, who's struggling at the moment with his son, Ben, who has lots of mental health issues. We pray for all who are affected by mental health issues, especially severe depression. We pray for those involved in the professional care of clients affected by mental health issues. We pray today for all our brothers and sisters, past and present of the Teo community, all our friends, those who support us, the many who have worked hard for us in spreading the word about the community. We remember them. We remember Skip on Google and all those on our social network of LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Google Hangouts. We thank God for them and we pray for them today. But we mustn't forget all the men and women of different faiths who dedicated their lives to the light, to the Lord Buddha, Vishnu, Ganesh, Krishna, Jesus, Allah, Jehovah, Yahweh. But we remember especially those who are struggling in their vocation and who may be thinking of giving up. We pray for our families and friends and for the many who have asked our prayer too many to mention from our request book, but we will, we will pray this morning for Melanie, who's in great discomfort and distress every day. Melanie is asking for healing and emotional strength. We give thanks for Jane, one of our staff in the chemist in Moonthorpe, whose partner Ian was told that he may have cancer of the liver because he was so jaundiced and because his mother and members of his family died of cancer of the liver and they were all teetotal. But it so happened that he had an impacted gallbladder of stones that were pressing on his bile duct and on his liver. So there's no cancer and I believe that's a miracle and that's in thanksgiving to you for holding him in prayer. So thank you. And we remember Kathy, our neighbor, who's coming to terms with her disability of blindness and managing to use the, the white stick and meander around, but getting terribly frustrated because she was such an active lady. We pray for all those today who are struggling in mind, in body and spirit. So now we pray. Our Father, Mother God, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, 
your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give to each one of us here today our daily bread. Forgive us our faults and failings, and lead us not astray, but protect us from the forces of evil, negativity, and despair. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And now for our closing prayer this Sunday morning. Lord God, you have prepared for those who love you what no eye has seen and no ear has heard. Fill our hearts with your love, so that loving you above all and in all, which the heart of man has not conceived, we make our prayer through our Lord Jesus the Christ, who lives and who reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. And that, my dear friends, brings us to the end of morning prayer on this beautiful Sunday morning. And now we close with the Celtic blessing. The blessing of heaven, the blessing of earth, the blessing of sea and sky on those we love this day, and on every human family, the gift of heaven, the gift of earth, the gift of sea and sky, the gifts of brother sun and sister moon, and gifts of the animal kingdom be in your heart, now and forevermore. Amen. And as I come to blow out this flame, I thank the Lord Jesus for touching each one of you and all whom we have remembered here. Amen. Namaste, shalom, inshallah, pax et bonum, om shanti, sola di caritas, salam alaikum. And may the peace of the Lord Christ be in your heart this day and bless you and all your loved ones. Amen. If this is your bedtime, I wish you a pleasant rest. If it is your daytime, like us here in the UK, I wish you a blessed day. So take care until we meet again. God bless you. <laughs>